Prophecy Confirmation And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. As they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and ye shall be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Prophecy is the mind of God revealed unto humanity by the interpretation of his prophets. In the book of Amos number 3 verse number 7, the Bible says, For the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals it unto his servants the prophets. So that the nations of the world might know that God's servant Yamgela Joseph is an anointed of the Lord and a mouthpiece of God in our time. On the 22nd of November 2019, God's servant Yamkela Joseph prophesied concerning an imminent death that was coming in the office of the presidency in South Africa. In this prophecy, God's servant said, one that is so close to the president was going to die in a mysterious way. In this prophecy scene, two years before the occurrence happened, with so much accuracy, God's servant Yamgela Joseph pinpointed the exact time frame that was needed to pray for this government official that he saw that was going to die in the office of the presidency. The prophecy goes like this. Take a look. It's time for you to pray. I see a lot happening in our government. The Lord said to me, pray for a major politician. In the next six months now, you pray for a major politician. I see a major politician being laid to rest but it's very it's very it's very unusual it's a it's an unusual thing but being laid to rest the lord's hand must be upon our government those who are in government positions government power we need god to protect them we need god to cover those who are in government positions because now the forces of darkness are trying to do their own thing. So right now, let us pray for a major politician. This politician is very close to the president. He's very close to the president. Let us pray because God wants to save his life. There are forces of darkness that are trying to to push him but we need to pray we need to pray we need to pray because God is 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 is, is, is he wants to change this nation so let us pray six months later again God's servant Yamgela Joseph came again to remind us and to prophesy concerning this occurrence in this time around on the month of August God's servant says, Remember I told you last time that you pray for the presidency and this time you pray for God to save this individual. Again prophesying from the last prophecy he gave six months ago. Take a look at this prophecy once again. The Lord has spoken once again to me. Let us focus our eyes into prayer and pray for the nation of South Africa. I see a government official, specifically last year in November, I told you that the presidency was going to be visited. 
and there was going to be a shaking in the presidency in the South African office because of certain things that had happened. And I said, let us pray for an individual very close to the president of South Africa because I see an attack again on this individual. Now I come to say to you right now, as I look again in the spirit realm, I still see a lot of attack in this individual very close to the president in South Africa. That let us pray for the safety, the peace, and also pray for change in the nation because God is about to do great things in South Africa. Now let us pray for South African politicians and let us pray for this individual very close to the South African presidency that God may spare his life and God might do something in this individual there. So until I see you next time, continue to pray for South Africa and also pray for your nation. May the Lord bless you. Welcome back. If you are just joining us, we have some breaking news, and that, of course, is the passing away of Minister in the Presidency, Jackson Mtembu, of a COVID-related illness. President Sora Maposa issuing a statement just before 3 o'clock, and I'll read a bit of it. It says, It is with deep sorrow and shock that we announce that Minister in the Presidency, Jackson Mtembu, passed away earlier today from COVID-related implications or complications. Our thoughts and prayers, of course, with his family at this time of loss. Minister Mtembu was an exemplary leader, an activist, and lifelong champion of democracy and freedom. He was a much-loved and greatly respected colleague and comrade whose passing leaves our nation at a loss. Let's continue to get reaction now from ACDP leader Kenneth Meshwe. God's servant Yamgela Joseph prophesied that this government official was very close to the president. Take a look once again. So right now, let us pray for a major politician. This politician is very close to the president. He's very close to the president. Let us pray because God wants to save his life. As for me, I have lost not just a dependable colleague and a comrade. I have lost a dear friend. And it is a loss that I feel most keenly. Minister Mtembu, had many virtues that I observed over the many years of our working together and of our friendship. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa further speaks about the kind of a person that Jackson Tembi was in the presidential office. He was generous in spirit and had a charming personality as all those who interacted with him and met him will be able to testify. He had the enduring ability to lift anybody's mood, including my mood, and to fortify my resolve in even the most difficult situations. His sense of humor was often most irreverent. He laughed. And he laughed like someone who really loved life. A moment in the country's history. Amidst this great upheaval, when our people are so fearful of the future, they have looked to leaders like Jackson and Mtembu for reassurance and for certainty. As the minister in the presidency, he was the public face of our government communications as it communicated its policies and its decisions. During the pandemic, Minister Jackson Mtembu carried our message of compassion and solidarity and unity across the nation. He was at the forefront of our national effort to contain the coronavirus pandemic, the very pandemic that has now claimed 
his life. When we found ourselves close to despair, as a people and as a nation, he offered hope. When our nation's spirits were down and flagging, he was one of those who lifted them. He brought clarity and certainty and utmost professionalism to every task he was assigned. As if that was not enough, just a day that Jackson Tembo dies, his doctor who was treating him in the hospital also dies the following day in an accident crash. Take a look. Well, in a tragic turn of events, shortly after trying to save Minister in the Presidency Jackson Tembo's life, Dr. Richard Munonyane died in a helicopter crash. Two doctors, a nurse, paramedic and a pilot also died when a Nedke medical emergency chopper crashed in Bergville in KwaZulu-Natal yesterday. They were on their way from Johannesburg to fetch a critically ill patient from Durban. Health Minister Dr. William Kiza says Dr. Munonyane delayed the flight in order to help Mtembu, who passed away from a COVID-related illness. One of the doctors who has passed away in the crash was actually called by a friend, uh, Dr. Paul Williams, into uh, to come and assist to save uh, uh, Dr. Uh, to Minister Jackson during that difficult time. He dropped the trip he was supposed to go to uh, Guazul Natal, and then his team waited, mm. delayed his flight. He came back. They worked very much. It was uh, the uh, Dr. Rudolf Mamiani is a uh, anesthetist, a cardiac anesthetist. They came together to do everything they could to uh, support um, Minister Jackson. And of course, unfortunately, <clears throat> on his way out, as he was flying out and uh, he's met a, a, a fatal accident, we would like to convey our very sincere condolences to the families of all those doctors and, and pilots who lost their lives. We know their dedication, their hard work, and their you know effort to try and save their lives uh, all the time. We really uh, want to uh, convey our appreciation mm -hmm. and condolences to the families. Now you pray for a major politician. I see a major politician being late to rest. But it's very, it's very, it's very unusual. It's, a, it's an unusual thing. But being late to rest. The Lord's hand must be upon our government. As God's servant young Gila Joseph plays it, before anybody would have ever thought, two years ago, he said it, that it would be an unusual thing. He said, I see a major politician being laid to rest, but this is an unusual thing. Exactly so is the death of Jackson Mtembu, a minister in the presidency. Just after he dies, then his doctor dies the following day. All of us are in shock and the world and the country is in shock of such kind of events happening in South Africa. A statement from ARA, which is Africa Restoration Alliance, says ARA demands an investigation into the death of Jackson Mtembo. It's far too coincidental that his death occurred before he was scheduled to appear on the State Capture Commission. The ANC-led government has proverbially slapped South Africa in the face with a newly appointed Chinese MP. Is this a second wave camouflage into an African China state? This is an official statement from ARA concerning the death of Jackson Tembo. And there was going to be a shaking in the presidency in the South African office because of certain things that had happened. And I said, let us pray for an individual very close to the president of South Africa because I see an attack again on this individual. Now I come to say to you right now, as I look again in the spirit, I still see a lot of attack in this individual very close to the president in South Africa. But let us pray for the safety, the peace, and also pray for change in the nation. 
though we might all not know what truly killed Mr. Jackson Temple, but according to the Spirit of God as God's servant prophesied, it was an attack, and God's servant Yam Killer Joseph prophesied far in advance that this kind of an attack was standing over the life of this individual, which is the minister in the presidency. We want to send our condolences to the family of Jackson Temple, to the government of South Africa, and to all that are affected. A prophet can only speak as the Spirit shows and as the Spirit speaks to him. God's servant Yam Killer Joseph is nothing but a vessel speaking the words of God and making in advance to be known the decrees of heaven. Therefore we say, continue to pray for South Africa and pray for the nations of the world. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon your life. Thank you for watching Jesus Reigns TV. I believe that you are blessed by the testimonies, the teachings, and the prophecies that you keep getting into this channel. Remember, Jesus Reigns is only here to make sure that you, at, the, at your home, you are able to receive the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and to know the mind of God in the hour today. As many voices are speaking all over the world, it is very important to hear what the voice of the Lord is saying right now. Maybe you're sitting there at, the, at your home, watching or maybe you're watching through your phone or whatever medium you're using and you said in your heart i've seen the man of god preaching the gospel but i don't know jesus i've never met jesus and i would love to meet that jesus to come into my life right now if you don't know jesus christ i want to lead you to a prayer of salvation and the lord jesus will come to your heart and he will save you your sins will be forgiven and your life will be changed so make this prayer with me right now say lord jesus come unto my heart and change my life. I believe that you died and you resurrected. And today, because of your blood, I am saved. With my heart, I believe. With my mouth, I confess that you are the Lord over my life and the King of my salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for changing me in Jesus' name. Immediately, you have made this prayer. Now you are born again. Now you are a child of the kingdom of God. The Bible says we believe with our hearts, we confess with our mouth, and we are saved. Immediately, you have done this prayer. You have taken the best decision over your life. And right now, I want you to read the Bible and live by the word of the Lord because the Bible is clear that He gave all of us to become the sons of God. And now you are the son of God. May the Lord bless you. Continue to watch Jesus on TV. Continue to click on the notification. Until I see you next time. Shalom. Shalom.